Hey guys, uh, Brutinji here again. Um, so, amongst other things, recently I have uh, kind of started a, a game development group with uh, some of my very, very talented friends. Um, we got an idea. We we got together and brainstormed and came up with a what we think is going to be a really cool game. And um, I'm really, really hoping that things go well with this. Um, I have... There's just something about me and, and projects, but uh, it seems like... When I come into a project, it dies. <laughs> um, I, I don't know what it is, but... Um, uh, a lot of the projects that I've come into have died. Um, was really lucky with. Of course, it might have been because I, I didn't have the hugest part to play in it. But um, the reverse, I, I was on the reverse team for uh, the Broadcom driver uh, for Linux. Uh, for those of you who aren't aware, for the longest time uh, there wasn't a driver for Broadcom wireless cards for uh, Linux. And um, so we basically had to disassemble uh, the code for a different platform, namely the router platform, which was MIPS Linux, or MIPS Assembly. Um, converted from MIPS Assembly to x86 Assembly, and that into pseudocode, um, which we then passed along uh, we used that pseudocode to be able to figure out you know what what everything was doing and then made a spec sheet and passed that on to the guys who actually wrote the driver <clears throat> so anyways so very good that that project um you know was successful but i think it would have been successful even if i had shot everybody on the team <laughs> um or somebody had shot everybody on the team. Didn't mean, didn't mean to be morbid there. Anyways, on this game team, um, we one of the ideas that I had was to have these whispers um, that would happen, kind of almost subliminally, um, just enough to where if you know you had your sound up and you were you were paying attention, you'd be like, huh, you know, and um, So I had this idea, and I decided to make some test, make some tests for it, um, some test whispers, if you will. And um, for those of you who haven't heard of Audacity, it's a really awesome open source um, sound editing uh, studio. That's what I'm in right now. That's what's open up here. And this is one of the uh, the whispers that I actually recorded earlier. It's an AUG format. Uh, the way I opened it up is I went to file, and then import, and then audio, and then just picked it from the list. Anyways, as you will hear, it is extremely, extremely soft. Um, so in order to edit it, I, I first want to uh, just raise the volume in the software so that I can actually hear it to, to edit it, and then at the end I'll amplify it, just so that, <clears throat> I, um, don't, don't, don't have as much, well, that's just the way I do it, I, I, I there's not really any reason, and there, it's, it would probably actually be better to amplify it now, so let's see how much it's amplified, 4, 25 dB, okay, so we'll take it back down to zero so we don't blast ourselves out. Go to Amplify, FX Amplify. And then we'll change this Amplify DB to 25, like it was. We'll preview it real quick. Yep, that's the right volume. Okay, so we'll go ahead and click OK. So now we have... Um, it's amplified. Um, so that's good. Um... There's a whole lot of things that we, a whole lot of effects we can use. Um, I, this, the ones that I found gave me the effect that I was looking for. 
um, are a mixture of change pitch, phaser, and where to go echo. So I wanted this to be a really uh, a deeper, almost sadistic, um, ethereal voice that you would hear uh, like it was coming from inside your head, basically. So if you could think of like some psychopath and the voices that go on in his head, this would be one of them. Okay. Um, so let's start out with. Let's start out with Echo. And what I liked on these, uh, on this the first time, I, I've actually already edited this um, before. <clears throat> so I'm going to go through the process that I want to make it the way it is. Uh, so we're going to preview it real quick. So you, you can hear it gave it a little bit more of a airy sound. Um, I, I lowered down. I, I changed the delay time of in seconds to 0.5, and the delay factor down to 0.25. This this makes the echoes closer together, so that it it doesn't sound like you know, oh oh. oh. It sounds like you know, multiple voices saying the same thing at the same time almost. Um, so go ahead and, and click OK to apply that, and then next we'll go for. Um, sorry, this I'm having a. The, I don't have a way to have the sound go directly into the microphone. So the speakers are across the room. So I'm like clicking stuff and then jumping across the room <laughs> so that you can hear it. Um, that that's also why I, I probably sound a little out of breath. Let's. So I, I'm I went to change pitch and now I'm moving the slider down into the negative. I think I was negative 25 the first time. Oh, crap. I meant to preview that, but uh, let's see how it sounds to play. Ooh, no, that won't work. Sorry. Crap. Just a second. Um, my, my amplifier for my speakers. Um, my speakers are actually a stereo system. And uh, the the amplifier has an an overload feature to where it won't basically it won't let you make yourself go deaf. Um, so, anyways, let's hear how this sounds. So you see that made it sound a lot deeper, um, a lot darker, and then finally we'll put in a phaser. Let's preview that. Uh, that's not what we're going for. Let's go dry up the frequency a little bit. What it's supposed to do is kind of pulse it a little bit. Um, it's okay, so click OK. And so you can't really hear it on there, but um, at the end of the video, I'll actually get the mic really close so you'll be able to hear all the little nuances and everything. Now, if you notice, there's a little pop at the uh, beginning and end. How you get rid of that is fade in. You go to effect, fade in, and then effect, fade out. And that gets rid of that, that pop. It, it does decrease the volume a little bit since this is such a short little clip. Um, and there pro there's probably a way to affect how much it actually, um, like how far into it it fades in and how far... Um, into it, it fades out. But I don't know how to do that, so I'm just showing you how I did it. Um, okay, so let's see. I'm going to let you guys hear this edited version, and then I'll let you hear the, uh, the uh, final version that I had that I was going to show to the guys. Hold on just... Okay, such a ghetto ghetto way to do it, but um, hopefully that sounded okay. Um, 
and come to think of it, as much trouble as that was, maybe I'll just put a link to uh, to it so you can download it um, and hear it for yourself. Uh, this will be under um, Collective Commons or Creative Commons license, so if you want to use it, you can feel free to use it. Um, I hope you guys learned something. Have a good one, and I'll try and get some uh, programming tutorials out soon.